for the time being, I think we can focus back on earnings. So we have Gopal Snacks. Uh, the company reported a softish operational performance in the second quarter. The margins contracted, while the capacity utilization levels remained subpar. We have with us Mr. Mukesh Shah, who is the Chief Financial Officer of Gopal Snacks, who joins us on the show. Hi, uh, good morning, and thanks a lot for joining in, uh, Mukesh. Give us a couple of uh, numbers then. What's the expected growth revenue number you're looking at for the year? the beta margins, and how do you see capacity utilization levels firm up from year on? This quarter, uh, we have, uh, our revenue growth has been close to 13% quarter on quarter, uh, and we estimate uh, for full year FY25, our revenue growth will be in the range of 13 to 15%. Uh, the core market, uh, which is Gujarat, has grown by 6% uh, year on year, and uh, H2 is going to be better than H1. Uh, we are expecting double digit growth in core market and uh, more than 20% plus uh, growth in our focus in other states market, uh, taking an overall growth close to 14-15%. Uh, from an EBITDA margin perspective, our range is we will be maintaining our EBITDA guidance and the EBITDA margin will be in the range of 11-12% to 12 in FY25. Yeah, Mukesh, good morning. Thank you for joining in. Did you quantify the... Uh, double digit growth that you're anticipating from the core market? Would it be low double digits, mid teens, or even high double digits for that matter? So it would be close to low double digit. It would be in the range of 10%, I would say, uh, because uh, Q1 we had a growth of 3%, Q2 it is 6%, uh, Q3, Q4 is going to be in the range of 10 to 12%. On an average, the growth will be in around 9 to 10%. Got it. All right. What about wafers? As a percentage of your total mix, what does it constitute right now? And where so do you see that number is headed? Currently, wafer is growing at a 46. Year on year, it is growing more than 40%. Uh, in terms of volume and price, it is at around 47%. Uh, the revenue mix, it is uh, wafers is 11% of our overall revenue mix. We expect this uh, wafers to grow in a big way. If you see overall uh, wafers market, uh, as per the industry's estimate, the overall market is more than 15,000 crores. Our annual run rate from wafers is close to 200 crore currently, which was 120 crore last year. And we expect uh, the wafers market to grow for us uh, in the range of 25 to 30% year on year. All right. So in the next uh, two years or so, uh, you know, by FY26, uh, FY27, you should be close to around more than 300, 350 crores of yes, from wafers? Yes, definitely. Yes, 350 crores. 350 crores. You know, Mukesh, and I wanted to ask you. It is a high marginable product for us compared to other products. So, we have so what does that do then? What does that do then to uh, margins? If you could give us, what is the margin difference between wafers and the other products? And for your entire blended margins, do you see it headed gradually towards mid teens as wafers contributes more? So, I'll speak about GP, gross profit margin, where uh, wafers give us close to 32, 33% of gross profit margin on revenue. Whereas other uh, uh, other products like ethnic snacks and pumpkins, we have a gross profit margin close to 27% around. So on a blended basis, uh, we reported 29% margin. Going forward, 70% uh, of our uh, raw uh, our cost is raw material cost, where we see inflationary trend. In fact, if you see, uh, uh, there has been a close to 10 to 15% increase in the raw material cost, be it chana or palm oil. While we have taken corrective action in terms of grammage reduction and we negated the impact of raw material price increase, uh, our estimate is that going forward, maybe uh, a year or so, we will be increasing the gross profit margin to 30-31% with the increase the way, in just... the wafers uh, mix. By the way, you just saw some visuals on your screen there. Prime Minister Modi inaugurating the India Mobile Congress uh, with presence in the presence of Akash Ambani, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Sunil Bharti Mittal, as well as Kumar Maglam Birla. So the India Mobile Congress taking place inaugurated there by Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Mukesh, I wanted to ask you about the smaller uh, packaging price points. So the 5 rupee packs, they, acquire, they account for almost around two-thirds of your sales, if I'm not wrong. Now, what is that target? Do you plan to increase that share or do you plan to increase the share of the packs with a larger value, which which I hope, which I'm assuming would drive a bigger margin for you? Yeah, you are correct. If you see the trend last two years, uh, 
five rupees price point has come down from a revenue mix perspective. It used to be 85 percent. Now it is close to 70 percent, and we expect uh, uh, the bigger pack and 10 rupees pack, uh, which will contribute more as we as we increase our footprint in alternate trade channels like e-commerce, uh, modern trade, railways, etc., where uh, larger price point packs are being sold. Uh, going forward, if I have to give a two years uh, guideline, the ratio will be in the range of 55, 45 percent. Hmm. How much are you spending on uh, marketing and advertising as a percentage of a sales mix? Where do you see so this number? Our, our estimate uh, for FY25 is close to 20 crores, so it will be in the range of 1.5% of our revenue. All right, final question. Current market share in the snacks market? So currently, 3% is our overall market share. When it comes to Gujarat, we are at around 8% of overall Gujarat market share. All right, okay, leave it at that. Yeah, Thanks, yes, please, please finish your point. So the industry market, as for the industry report, is close to 50,000 crore, which is estimated to grow at 11%. And uh, our estimate is that we uh, will grow in a healthy double digit, close to 17-18% uh, from FY26 onwards. All right, Mukesh, thanks a lot for sparing time yeah. and joining us on this update there, the management of Gopal Snacks after their second quarter results.